Hey guys, it's Bob the Drag Queen, and welcome to the Pit Stop. If anyone has proven that you can win Drag Race without being pretty, it is Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> it's fashion meets. <laughs> it's fashion. <laughs> fashion? Is it fa wait? What is it? Fashion. A standard of living. It's fashion. <laughs> Enjoy educational life. Do you agree that Willow Smith is a master strategist? <laughs> Keep my daughter's name out your f mouth. <laughs> Touch it. Open. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's fashion meets. I love that at least one man is obsessed with If me. you want a date, just say you want a date. Yeah, I'll fk you. I mean, if you if you want to kiss, just say you want to kiss. I lift up the hood and I'll suck that. Yeah. Please don't put that in there. That's. Just... <laughs> that Loop it. Loop it. Lift up the hood and I'll suck that. Lift up the hood and I'll suck that. Lift up the hood and I'll suck that. Loop it. I said I'd lift up the hood and suck that. Gotta film this won't make the cut. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and yes, all the rumors are true. It is me, Bob the Drag Queen, and I am this season's host of The Pit Stop, where we will be reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 7 all winter season. And I am very thrilled to be joined by a true Drag Race super fan, a comedy genius, and probably my biological cousin, Please welcome <laughs> Miss Nicole Byer. Oh, Bob! Hi, 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 hi! I would love to find out that we were related. I would love it too. You're from New Jersey. Yes. Not a chance. No Where sorry. are you from? Georgia. Oh, Georgia! Hey, we from Georgia, baby. Yeah. I don't know. We're all kind of related, this right? Is true. You go back to the motherland. This is true. If you are watching this from the motherland, mm -hmm. shout out to you. <laughs> we love you. We do. How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm in a very good mood, Ooh. and I love being with someone who truly loves watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, it's honestly a dream. The opening to this first episode brought me back to season one, and I loved it. I loved it. A child rolling in the grass, RuPaul frolicking. I loved it. <laughs> Are you ready for an all-winter season? I'm so ready for this. I love it because I love the runways. They are going to be just opulent right? and elegant and and like over the top. Like I'm so excited for it. So let's get right into it. Let's get into these interest let's looks. Let's do it. First up, we have Shea Coule, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Five. This look is beautiful. It is. Stunning. Stunning. The orange pops on her skin. The makeup is there. I don't love slick back hair, but here I do. Shay has a way of really serving, really slaying. Mm -hmm. This look is every part of this looks great. I love the bolero. Mm -hmm, I love mm -hmm, the cat suit. Mm -hmm, I love mm -hmm. the orange with a slightly brighter orange. Yes. And the mesh that kind of lets her skin mm -hmm. tone poke through. The hair, the ear. Everything. Flawless. And then the body, her ass looks so good. Also, I need her dermatologist because the skin. Yeah. The skin is glowing. All right, next up, Jada Essence Hall, who is the winner of Drag Race season 12. The essence of beauty. I love it. You pointed out something reviewing, which I agree with. I love this look. I don't love this wig. Correct. The, there's something maybe bigger. Maybe longer. Maybe I don't a different know. Color. If it was if it was like human being color. Maybe. You know. Maybe black. Black. What? Oh no, white. Like storm. I think that would have really f crushed it. Okay, that would have been a very good look. Or like I see platinum, that. Platinum. You know. Jada Essence Hall is one of those folks. She just says really random stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's talking about. She's living her fantasy. I really like it. I like the pants. I like the jacket. Right? I like that it's like red, but then like not as red as you think it is. I just, I like it. Yeah, she looks she looks beautiful. She's mm -hmm. very stunning. And yes. I'm excited to see what she's gonna do in a room full of winners. I agree. Let's talk about Evie Oddly, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season 11. Nah. Nah. I love this look. Okay. I can get behind the little onesie, the leotard. I can get behind the jacket, this hair. Well, when she walked in, it looked nice. Sure, but I think if if you're doing a look that you gotta move around in, the hair needs to withstand the movement. At one point, it was just like boop, boop. The hair was not sustainable. No, it was not long for this world. But I love this deep widow's peak. Mm -hmm. I love the pieces from the coat in her hair. 
She looks so good. I love the makeup. I think the makeup is a moment. I think it's really, really cute. Evie's fun. I love her legs. Yes. Oh! Very they're long. so long and luscious and I love them. Very, very, yeah. She looks amazing. She's the queen of the queerdos. Mm -hmm, She's mm -hmm, owning mm -hmm. it. They all look so good. They do. That's why I love an all-winter season. They have money. Yeah. They money all. makes you look good. <laughs> I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We have Trinity the Tuck, winner of All Stars season four. Yes. And I don't understand what's happening. This look is not for me. Is it fetish? Is it is it biker? Is it is it a, is it feathers? Is it is it is it dre is it? It's a lot. It's a lot happening all at once. We got a harness over the titty plate. We got yeah the feathers at the bottom, the little thing in the hair. Then we it got comes a mask, a mask over her face, and then she's yeah. holding just a little, uh, the tiniest little fluffy purse. Yeah. I do not like this. It's not for me. She's gothic plumet. Mm, I don't know what a plumet is. Plumet is the little feather duster from Beauty and the Beast. There we go, a plumet. She's got she's gothic plumet. Yeah, but I do like the makeup. I think the makeup is. It's like severe, and you don't like the makeup. Her makeup does look nice. She <laughs> does have nice makeup yeah. on. Her it, earrings look like little squares. Yeah, they look like presents. Like a little like a little present that you open. Yeah, but, but I'm taking this gift back. Yeah, I'm the gonna return it. The day after Christmas. Yeah, but her makeup looks very it nice. It looks really nice. Yes, congratulations on the I'm nice. I'm sorry, Trinity. On the nice makeup. You know what? This is the all winter season. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're keeping it real. <laughs> we keeping it real. Up next, we have my kid sister, Monet Exchange, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 4. Before we get into this, I want to say this. I will not hear any rumors that I am being biased. I am going to be completely unbiased. I will not be favoring Monet Exchange. I just want to throw that out there. See, why did you have to throw that out? It seems like you're going to be biased. She looks amazing. <laughs> seems like you're going to be real biased. That being you said, that she's the best the looking nail. one, and everyone else says, Shit. no one else looks as good as my kid sister. I love this look. I do. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be biased either, because I love Monet, but like, I love this look. I think it's cute. It's true to her. I will say, don't love the tissues on the collar. Yeah. But we are in a pandemic, so it's quick. There it is. The shoulder doilies. Yeah, I, I'm not here for it. Are not popping. I like the wrist doily. I think that's fun. Yes. Although not needed, not necessary, but I do love like the little shorts because that booty be popping. Be popping this. Monet Ooh. does not wear ass pads. Ooh, wait, she doesn't? It's the real deal. Ah! Monet is literally shaking what her mother gave her. It's nice. And I love the hair. I like the pocket sticking out of the jeans. Yeah, I just look the, the leggings go into the shoes. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. The only thing I don't, I, I only is the shoulder, and I wish mm. there were more chains. The chains look a little dainty. I, I want more chains, but honestly, like I'm not mad. The hair is on point. The makeup is on point. It's fun. Yeah. All right, up next we have the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season five, which a lot of fans say is their favorite season. I love Jinxie. I love Jinx. <laughs> Interesting. I love Jinx. Jinx is probably the most talented winner of RuPaul's mm -hmm. Drag Race. I say that all the time. Control top pantyhose. Listen, somebody has to be in control. I cannot believe Jinx Monsoon is wearing control top pantyhose on the all winner season. You have been waiting eight years to get back on Drag Race and you walk in the front door wearing control top Pantyhose. You know, sometimes you can't find your other pantyhose. I'm a Jinxie apologist. I think this is fine. I love it. Listen, if she cannot find her other pantyhose. Maybe it was a choice. Maybe that's what she wanted it to look like. Bad choice. Okay, I disagree. I love the robe. I love the corset. I can't even see the, the, the pantyhose when she's posed like that. Outside <laughs> of the control top pantyhose, I love this look. I think it's very it's Jinx once. Very Jinx. And I. I love Jinx. I like truly, like she could wear it like a potato sack and I'm happy because she's so funny and joyful. Well, wait for episode three because she <laughs> will be, no. She's perfect, control top or not, I love Jinx. Jinx is very close to perfect. Jinx and Monet both look great, mm -hmm. minus one thing. Yes. Minus one thing. And now we have Raja, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race season three, mm. whose entrance, look, line, attitude, walk is the best one of the group. 
I agree. She has an eye. She is the mm -hmm. people of the eye. And do you remember her season? She walked in with that. With the little hat. With, with the, the eye, eye on it. This is amazing. Ugh, it's so beautiful. It's such a good callback to it and then an elevated callback. Yes. Um, she looks stunning. Completely. Like, just so beautiful. And I love black and gold. My God, I love Raja. Yes. Ugh. Now this <gasps> is perfection. I can't. I cannot find a single flaw with There's, this. There's, yeah, no flaws. Oh, uh, did somebody call for an icon? icon. Finally, finally, we, Finally. Having a stroke. Finally. Finally is it's happening, happening to, me, to me. Right in front, front of my face. And I got it. No one else oh, knows no. the word. <laughs> no, no. Finally. 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 Um, Finally, we have the Vivian, who is the winner of Drag Race UK season one. Yes. I really feel like she crushed. I the competition. had a lot of fun watching her. This entrance look, I I like. It's Stunning. demure. Demure. This is what? Devil. It's a demure devil. The devil can be demure. It's a demure devil. The devil wears modesty, apparently. These <laughs> the hair is great. I love the the corsety thing with the the sleeves. The bodice, the sleeves. The, the bodice. Thing. That's what it is. A bodice. It's not well, a. Well, a bodice is just like a top part of a garment. If you have a dress, but it's kind of like in two pieces mm. sewn together, you call the top part a bodice. Okay, I like the bodice. Yeah, this is so good. I love a pant. You yeah. know, I love a busy top, uh, subtle bottom. I, I mean, that's how I've always been described. As a busy top, but with a, a subtle, subtle bottom. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give top energy. I, I'm a power bottom. Oh wow, that's oh. that's what it is. Yes, that's what it is. Yes. Yeah, power bottom and, and top energy is, is very similar. Mm -hmm. Very very similar. Yeah, she looks absolutely stunning, beautiful. So, which look was your favorite one? <laughs> I know. And this, is a, this is gonna be a hard group to pick a favorite out of because they're all so good. They're all winners. I'm gonna give my favorite look to Raja. Okay, then I'll give mine to Shay. Which look do you think you're least likely to wear? Out of Trinity. Trinity the tuck. Not to be rude, but it was really not for me. Now, then all of a sudden, this ninth queen walks into the room. Yes, and we're like, who is a... She reveals that it is Raven. It is Raven. Raven identifies as a winner, which is very funny to I say. I mean, she did win an Emmy. What's your first thought when Raven walks in? I was just like, this is funny. I like this. Once we found out later down the line that it was all yeah, a bit... It was just a fun time. I was relieved. Why? Because she didn't win Drag Race. Yeah, it but- It is not fair. It's not fair. fair. It's fun. It's juicy. It's drama. I would have been so happy if she actually competed. That's drama. I would have started the second Stonewall Riots. <laughs> RuPaul walks into the workroom, does her bit with Raven. Uh-huh. Which I did laugh at. It was funny. I did laugh it was at. cute. I love a slap. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> And we're black, both of us. We are. RuPaul walks into the workroom and she announces that no one will be going home this season. But they're gonna get a legendary legends of all time legend badge. They will be getting a legendary legend star. Yes, 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 yes. You compete and then there are two winners who uh -huh. each get a legendary legend star. And then you will lip sync for $10,000 and you get a platinum plunger, which is certainly gold. And then you will plunge a queen yes. and you will block her yes. from getting a legendary legend star. So essentially it's a point system. Yes. Just like we've always done on All Stars, episode one, there is a reading challenge, honey. Yes. The library is open. Open, cause reading is what? Fundamental. Yes. Do you? I was thinking of a joke and I was oh. like, because you know, you're reading is what? And I was going to say, I was going to, I was trying to make a point about how I think. Um, Do you want me to set you up again? Well, I don't remember the setup, so I, I, I never finished the joke in my head. So. Well, reading is what? Well, I never finished the joke. Well, I thought maybe you'd finish it. Finish reading it. is what? Um, wait. Because reading is what? Ru <laughs> So did you have any favorite reads from this episode? Was it Jinx calling Roger Roger? Yep. That made me laugh so, it's 
simple and stupid. Right? I don't even remember what she said afterwards. Me either. It was so funny. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Roger. Which queen stood out to you this reading challenge? Jinx killed it. Jinx I was agree. so funny. I did love Raja spelling out booger, and that was it. And yes. I was like, that's the read. I, I don't thought think that was Raja, fun. Raja's like, I'm not a comedian, so no. I'm gonna do what I do best. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give everyone a group reading yes. and then run away. Yeah. And, you know, be fierce and sassy about it. Like, yeah. I loved it. Monet had, had a pretty great um, section. Jada, the only queen to win on a Zoom call. On a call. Zoom call, yeah, that was funny. Which then later cried about, which kind of felt like. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes a read is the truth, and the truth true. is sad. But the truth will set you free. Will it? Before Not when you're in a Zoom box. This is true. This is true. Okay, Jinx Monsoon is the winner of the reading challenge, mm -hmm. and do you agree? Absolutely. So, for the first challenge of the season, RuPaul's decided they're all going to add a verse to her song, Legends. Legends. What do you think of the first challenge? I think that's fun. I always think writing a verse is creative. You get yeah. to see what what the, the queen's got bubbling in their head. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I'm really into it. I like the song. Yeah. And how do you think you do it at a, at a, at a lyrics challenge? Very badly. I cannot sing, I can't, can't rap. rap. I had an audition where I had to rap, and I rapped about how food made me horny, and it was very bad. It was for a show that I shan't name, but uh, I do remember some of the rap. My name is Nicole, I eat cereal straight up out a bowl. <laughs> Kicks, Cheerios, honeycomb, all them cereals wanna make me bone. I was not hired. We, I I'm, did not get a call back. I'm surprised you weren't forcibly removed from the <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I wasn't? <laughs> Who says I wasn't? Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. It was awful, and I watched a room full of people be really upset with me. Before the queens get out of drag, they get a master class on how to runway walk from the legendary Naomi <laughs> Campbell. I would have lost my mind. She is so beautiful. She's so iconic. She's so, her skin. Everything. Oh, I, yeah, to walk for, I couldn't walk for Naomi. I can't walk in Whose heels. walk was the best? Obviously, Shea Coulee's. Stomping, stomping, stomping down that runway. And then it was just like a beautiful moment where she was like, you're my inspiration. I love you. I learned how to walk from, it was just a beautiful moment. Yeah. And I love that Naomi's like, Thank you. She's like, thank you very much. I, I give her this, I think she's more oh, posh I'm Naomi All right, Campbell. Naomi. Thank you very much for liking my walk. <laughs> also, Jinx's walk was crazy. <laughs> was great. Jinx is Jinx through and through, and that that's true. what I love. She's one of she's like one of the only like campy queens on this season. So she is gonna stick out a little bit. Jinx is like camp from top to bottom and all in the in-between. Yeah, Jinx is camp from control top to bottom. Vivian is the only international girl on the show. Mm -hmm. And she's feeling like a little bit of an outsider. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the other girls are gonna treat her any differently. They should. Immigrants are taking our jobs. <laughs> Another American queen could have been on this season. These goddamn immigrants keep coming to America, taking our goddamn job. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Which winner is that? <laughs> that was Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them live here in LA. Yes. And have toured together, mm -hmm. and the Vivian has a different experience. And also different references. So like, pop culture-y stuff, it's different over there. So I, I don't think she's at a disadvantage, but like, she might say something and everyone might just blink at her, you know? But yeah. The f girl? They're all trying to choreograph this number together. Mm -hmm. No one can figure it out. Everyone's giving ideas. Raj is like, let's be a rainbow. Mm -hmm. Jinx's like, let's be a blob. Vivian's like, oh, don't know what we are. It's all, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, Shea kool steps up and decides yes. to choreograph. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this arm thing. I think Shea did a really great job. I agree. You know, I think it really came together. I agree. It could have been a disaster. It could have been. Our extra special guest judge this week is Cameron Diaz, and she introduces RuPaul's performance, Give Them What They Want. First of all, the look. Bob, when she stepped out and the lights hit her, I was so happy. This <clears throat> look, I yeah. love this. This is amazing. She looks incredible. I'm so happy to look at this. I love when RuPaul fills her fantasy. I, same. Yeah. Same. Let's talk about the song Legends. It's a fun song. It's a bop. I'm here for it. I agree. It was very fun. Any moment stick out to you? Every time I had to look at the costumes, there was no sense to be had. It was as if everyone pulled out their outfits and they were like, okay, nothing matches. There's no cohesion. Great. Let's all go out there and wear it. 
Yeah, it's not, this is not great. The only one that actually didn't look bad, I think, was Trinity. I agree. Trinity looked beautiful and stunning. Jinx looks like she's in Destiny's Child back when um, Tina used to do their outfits. <laughs> <laughs> the Vivian looks like a loofah. <laughs> On Shea kool the nude ain't nuding. It's not nuding. It's not nuding at all. But the face and the hair on Shea looks great. And then, I mean, Evie, what is the wig? Evie. What is the wig? Evelyn. What is it? Evelyn. Evelyn, what are you doing? But thank God that their, that their song was good because these outfits are mm -hmm. crazy. But outside of the outfits, I really enjoyed it. Evie's so, performance yes. is probably my favorite. Evie is such a performer, and I love those long legs, and I love that she knows how to use them, and I love the athleticism. Her body can move in a way that is just, just bananas. Delightful. Yeah. Yeah, I don't love the ensembles, but everyone's performance was really great. And I wish I talk about these runaways. <sighs> Category is, I'm crowning. Crowns on the runway. Wear a crown, wear a crown. Yes! Okay, let's talk about Raja. This is so incredible. My jaw f dropped. I love this big teased gray hair. The shoes, like top to bottom, the makeup, my f God, it was opulent. It was a dream. Yes. I loved it. The hair, Ugh. the crown, Ugh. the shoes, Ugh. the details. Ugh. This is so good, the makeup. Everything. This is so good. I loved it. Jinx Monsoon. Uh, this looks so amazing. Ah, uh, buh. I loved this. Her, again, the makeup, like Jinx did such a beautiful thing with like the lips and mm -hmm. the eyebrows. And then I love this headpiece. And then this, this, this screams expensive. And I know yeah. this was expensive. Yeah, this is definitely expensive. Like this is beautiful. And then I love the slutty little leg popping out. Yeah. And also to be able to get a skirt to have this silhouette with a slit in it. Yes! I don't even know how this is possible. I, maybe there's like a structure under it. Well, that's, she's probably wearing a hoop skirt, but I don't understand how the hoop clearly has a split in it. Obviously there's a split in the hoop. Yeah. She looks amazing. Uh, but as we have my sis Monet exchange. Here's the thing. I love the hair. I love the hair too. I don't really know about the ensemble. I think that she's trying <laughs> to combine elements from like this Victorian era uh -huh. and m with this Queens hip hop, whatever, it doesn't matter. She's trying to do this <laughs> thing and combine it with this hip hop tracksuit. I think if it was just a different color, it would have worked. I think white is a little hard to pull off, and honestly, it might have looked better in person, because I don't hate the concept. I just really don't like the color scheme. I just don't know that I need to see a heightened tracksuit. You don't? Or if I do need to see one, not this one. Fair. See, I told you I'd be unbiased. Up next, we have Trinity the Tuck. This is amazing. This is f opulent. This is drag. This drag. is a f dream how it hugs her legs mm -hmm. all the way down to just like a flood of fabric yeah, yeah god and then i love the things on her arms and then the makeup is really pretty i do wish her hair was blonde orange and purple's not not for me this works for me i think it looks fair nice. everyone else might be fine with it but for me um i don't love the hair everything else bob i'm like evelyn oddly love i love this too love she's showing off her legs Ugh. Yes, those long, gorgeous, stunning legs. And her ass. Yeah, nice little tush tush. And this is very Evie Oddly. Like, I love it. Only thing I did not like is she doesn't know how to walk on those heels. Yeah, but they're backless f I don't know, four or five inches in the front. That's a lot. So, someone could wear them. Someone could walk in. Okay, fair. She just wasn't the one. She was but not also, the you one. But you, also, you're the one who claims can't walk in heels. So I can't. Like, so you're like, I forgive all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> truly. Up next, we have Jada Essence Hall. You know? I don't love this, this dress. I don't get it. Here's the thing. It was not meant for us to get. It looks like two different ideas. Yes. And one of the ideas was not finished. Yeah, I wish the front had the same ruffling. I thought I wish it was like a little bit more cohesive. Yeah. I do like the hair, but I think the hair belongs on a different look. I think all the pieces are there, but it's just disjointed. I think it's a Mary Antoinette nod. She was trying to have her cake and eat it too, but you can't do both. No. Up next we have the Vivian. They were saying it was supposed to be Van Herpen inspired. I see. Whenever a designer who doesn't have the budget of Iris Van Herpen mm -hmm. tries to do her work, it's gonna end up looking cheap. Fair. I don't know if it looks cheap, but it does look like when the Little Mermaid washed up on land and had to use whatever fabric she could and yeah. tied it with the rope. But I will say, the hair, the hair. is f 
Stunning. From the collarbones up, I, yes. I love Yes, collarbone up, I love. I want to like it. Same. It's like working out. I want to want to work out. You want to work out? I want to want to work out. I don't want to work out at all. I want to be one of those folks who's like, eh, it's not even about fitness. I just do it to feel good. I would love to be her. Why? I'm just not that girl. But why do you want to be that girl? Because they want to get fit. Because you want to have cake and chips too. <laughs> and I think that's fair. Up next, we have Shea Coulee. I squealed when I saw this. Stunning. The hair, the cape, the f***ing ear, like the, 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 what is the gauges or whatever. She's wearing ear prosthetics to, to mimic the gauging of the ears they do yeah. in a lot of um, African cultures. You know, the thing about Shea is, Shay will show you how beautiful black is. True. It like warms my heart and brings like tears to my f***ing eyes every time I see just like something really f***ing black on yeah. TV like that. And I love that Shay brings it to you every time. This is my favorite look of the runway. I think so. This is the best look of the episode. I think so. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Which look do you think could use a little bit of help? Um, I think the ones that needed help were the Vivian and Jada. After the judges' critiques, we find out that the top two queens of the week are Shea Coulee and Monet Exchange. Do you agree? I agree with Shea Coulee. Mm -hmm. I also thought Monet did really well in the challenge. The runway wasn't for me. I agree. So honestly, I would have put Jinx up there because I liked her performance. I thought it was very true to Jinx and really funny. I think we both agree. I would have done Shea Coulee and Jinx Monsoon as mm -hmm. well. They were both great in the performance and yeah. great on the runway. Okay, so RuPaul says the time has come to lip sync for your life. This is normally when we hear Lady Gaga. Yeah, the beat drops. Dua Lipa. Oh, you hear the boom, We hear the Rihanna. Bass. We hear Madonna. Instead we heard e -I -E -I -O. We hear Ella Fitzgerald doing Old McDonald. Old McDonald had a farm. e i e i o. But I was really enjoying it. I couldn't believe my eyes when it started. But then after I was like, of course. This show is sometimes a fever dream. Right? I had such a blast watching it. It was I agree. so fun. So they lip sync back and forth. The winner is Shay Coulee. Yes. Also, we forgot to mention that uh, after the runway, they were allowed to change into something a little bit more comfortable. And Evie Oddly said, I'll wear some sensible purple uh, cargo pants <laughs> and a shawl. <laughs> Evie said, Oh, you want to be comfortable. God, that destroyed me. That was so f Funny, Evie I loved it. He went wild. So Shea Coulee wins the lip sync. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah, I thought it was pretty close. I think Monet <laughs> spent a little bit too much time with her back to the camera. She was like upstage a little bit with her back to the camera. I was like, what? Monet is does this thing is she only does it on Drag Race. She does not do this in real life. Where she lip syncs and she does her hands like this. She turns her back and walks upstage. And she only does it on Drag Race. Is it because she don't know the lyrics? Does Monet not know the lyrics? That's the only thing I can think of when a girl turns her back to the camera and does like a little thingy, you know, to distract you. I never even thought, because Monet is so professional. She always, Monet is the queen who always, that's crazy. That is why, you may have just cracked the case. You may have just cracked the case uh -huh. of the Monet walk up stage, wiggle the fingers. Okay, so Shea Coulee wins the first challenge mm -hmm. and she chooses to block yes. Trinity the Tuck. What do you make of that decision? It was curious to me. Right? No offense, if the next challenge is like an acting challenge, you're gonna regret not blocking Jinx. Exactly, and Shea did earlier say that she's gonna block who she thinks did the worst. Why? Why would you block the person who did the worst job? You should be blocking someone who did a good job. Well, I think sometimes the queens get real noble and they're like, oh, I want to compete with the best of the best. And it's like, no, bitch, do you want to win? I agree. It was a bit, it was a, I would have blocked Raja or Jinx myself. Same. Personally. Are we shading Trinity? I do feel like I've been a little harsh on her this whole episode. Yeah, you started getting nicer toward the end. Because I feel bad that I've been so mean. That's really noble of you. Nicole, what mm -hmm. a jam-packed first episode. Are you excited for this season? Are you? I'm just kidding. Imagine if that was how I asked. Nicole, what a jam-packed first episode. Are you excited for this season? I think you should do it like that. That's funny for me. Do it. Do it. Nicole, what a jam pick for a season. Are you excited for the for the season? I'm really excited for this season. Bob sounds like you're really excited too. <laughs>
<laughs> so I'm, I'm actually, I, I have not been this excited about a season of Drag Race in a very long time. I agree. And honestly, it is because the challenges are going to be great. But and then the runways. I am here for the looks. Yeah. And they brought it that first runway. Who do you see winning this season? You know, I think it could be Shea Coulee, mm -hmm. Monet, or Raja, just, and maybe Jinx, and maybe Jada, or maybe the Vivian. Are you gonna name everyone except Trinity? No, no, I was gonna say her next! <laughs> or maybe Trinity! Bob, Trinity's gonna come for me. I see it for Shea, Monet, Raja Jinx. Jinx. Yes. Nicole Byer, thank you so much for stopping by. Do you have anything coming up that we need to know about? Your website, TV shows? My website is NicoleByerWasTaken.com. Uh, <laughs> is that really? <laughs> yeah, because Nicole Byer was taken. That is so, <laughs> that is so, <laughs> so dumb. Easy. I got a ton of shit. If you like me, there's so much content. And if you don't like me, I feel bad because I'm a lot of places. Yeah, everywhere. Thank you, Nicole, for joining us. And thank you for watching at home. I will see you next time where we will be reviewing RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 7 All Winter Season Episode 2. Having your cake and eating it too. So like, why, would, why wouldn't you just eat the cake? Why do you want to have it? Because you want to have cake. But why like, just have it? Because You're gonna eat it. You, you wanna have cake, everyone wants to have cake. Yeah, but to eat. But then once you eat it, you don't have cake anymore. When I was a kid, my brother used to, um, we used to get the same treats, everything equal. I would eat all of mine. Yes. And then I'd be like, mom said we have to have the same amount. Mm -hmm. So you owe me half of yours. Well, you're a crook. <laughs> <laughs> Up. Yeah, this I, is your brother? I, this is my older brother. How old is he? Uh, two years older than me, 38. Is he single? He's engaged. Happy though? <laughs> hey, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want gay shit? Check out RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel and hit subscribe.